filled with manic action and a ton of options for carnage, Saints Row is the latest entry in Volition's long-running sandbox series. As the boss, it's your aim to establish the Saints' criminal organisation through often crazy and outlandish means. Here's seven things to know about Saints Row to get you up to speed on what's new. Saints Row 2022 reboots the open world series and embraces a slightly more grounded and relatable brand of anarchy and mayhem than in past entries. There's no alien abductions or destruction of Earth here, but Saints Row does retain the trademark humour and madcap antics that has long defined the series. Expect a new cast of characters, new locations and a load of new activities as you seek to turn a ragtag group of small-time wannabes into the titular Saints with an all-conquering underworld empire. Like its predecessor, Saints Row revolves around anti-hero protagonist The Boss, who represents the player's fully customizable avatar. Bidding to assist the boss in establishing the Saints' criminal enterprises are three colorful and morally compromised lieutenants who have unique skills and an eye for misadventure. Nina is the Saints' getaway driver, whose long-standing association with rival gang Los Panteros brings with it useful connections and complicated familial relationships. Eli is the brains of the outfit, whose entrepreneurial ambition drives him to make money as efficiently and quickly as possible, regardless of the consequences. And finally, Kevin is a DJ, fixer and would-be celebrity chef. He's another newly converted saint who defects from the organisation known as the Idols to help build a criminal empire in which he can feel at home. Saints Row relocates from its regular home on the USA's east coast to the southwest desert city of Santo Alesso. This new area represents the biggest game world and playground in the series and offers a rich new location to explore with a fitting local motto that bids its citizens to keep it strange. Moving around the city reveals numerous hidden points of interest and brings the Saints into contact with the game's three established organisations, Los Panteros, Martial Defence Industries and The Idols, all of which currently control territory you will need to liberate if you're to grow your own nefarious business interests. As you bid to make the streets of Santo Alesso yours, how you travel is crucial to the Saints' overall goal. Vehicles have a suite of customizable options to make your ride your own, with lots of driving missions and jobs to give you the opportunity to show off your whip. From bikes to monster trucks and jet skis to wingsuits, plus a fast travel option, Saints Row offers multiple choices for exploring Santo Alesso at high speeds with just as many ways of eluding capture and wreaking havoc. It's not enough to simply take territory from rival gangs, you also need to put that territory to work if you're to build a sustainable empire. This is where criminal ventures come in. Essential to the smooth running of your fledgling gang, these seemingly legitimate business ventures are a front for organised crime. This could mean establishing a Bright Futures disposal facility to charge a premium to illicitly dumping toxic waste. There's also a return of the ever-popular insurance fraud activity, for which you'll need to have founded a Shady Oaks Medical Centre to rack up those painful but lucrative medical cases. The world of Saints Row is fully explorable in cross-gen and untethered co-op. Play the game from start to finish in side-by-side co-op, or split up and cover more ground without being penalised for moving too far away from one another. Story missions focus both players on a specific objective, but you can choose to skip any you've already completed in your own game. Meanwhile, free roaming exploration is available for those who want to keep their friends close, but their enemies closer, for maximum chaos. Saints Row focuses firmly on allowing the player to kit out their vehicles, criminal ventures, weapons and avatar in as slick, serious, surprising or silly a way as they see fit. For vehicles, that means multiple types of paint in a spectrum of colours, different engine blocks, various utility tools, car horns that range from the muscle car to the ridiculous and much more. Weapons can be switched up to turn rocket launchers into guitar cases and assault rifles into umbrellas, alongside melee mallets and cardboard weapons. Perhaps the ultimate suite of customization options is reserved for creating the look of the boss themselves with the Boss Factory. Body types, goofy outfits and mutant features are the tip of an iceberg that includes muscle and vein definition, in addition to denture decoration and asymmetrical face customization. Whatever you're doing in Saints Row, you can look feisty, freaky and unique doing it. Saints Row launches on PC, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One on August 23rd. For more on all things Santo Alesso, keep it here at IGN.